Today, we are going to get some crop in the ground. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I have changed up the audio settings a bit, so you'll have to let me know in the comment section below how does everything sound? Does it sound good? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Let me know. We're trying some new stuff. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's get this put away. <laughs> this big old auger will come down. There we go. So I don't know. That's definitely not an auger. I believe that's a belt inside there. Yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. So what do we got? We've got our John Deere that's going to be taking over and planting the canola. And we have our Massey Ferguson, the 7726. This is going to be taking everything over and getting it ready for corn. So let's hop in here. Let's bring up our help window so we actually know what's going on. Let's say our help window, uh, the HUD. I've completely deleted the HUD. Wheat, barley, oat, canola. Perfect. Another thing we need to do is we need to get that fertilizer over there. Oop, and we're running over the chickens. Sorry, chickens. I love you. I promise. Maybe. I don't know. They're chickens. All right, moving on from that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So we are currently a little bit in debt. We're about a hundred grand in debt right now, which is, well, it's a lot of money to be in debt to. So we're going to have to figure that out, see how we're going to make the money. How are we going to get through? Um, I'm not really sure how we're going to do it because we're focusing right now on getting the, uh, getting the pigs taken care of. So if we can't focus on one or two things at a time, so we'll have to figure that out. Our worker and go I know we're a little off but something was kind of overlapping a little bit here I'm not sure what it was before but we'll figure that out yeah look at the look at the lime going on there now that is cool all right let's bump around perfect here we go now this is on corn so we don't have to worry about changing this over or anything doesn't that just look good that is a good pair right there at nine meters this shouldn't take that long um, but it is going to take a minute. Should be going as either 9 or 12 miles per hour. I need to go back and double check that just so we can see exactly what it is. But nonetheless, I, you know, I was thinking about doing a headland at the top and the bottom. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just, yeah, you know what, let's let's do that just, just in case. I know that the cultivator was giving us problems. It didn't want to go. It didn't want to go all the way up. So I was like, well... Uh, I don't know what you want me to do about that cultivator. So we'll take this and we'll get it set up nice and easy. Again, we're on corn. And hire a worker. Go for it. Now this, I believe, will run out of seed eventually. So what we are going to do is we are going to find our seed tender right here. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with seed and fertilizer. We're going to fill this back up. I don't think we're going to need fertilizer on either field. As a matter of fact, I can pretty much tell you we're not going to need fertilizer on either field. So what we really should do is dump the fertilizer out and just take seed. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, we can. So one great thing about the seed tender, a lot of people don't know this. This guy will hold just about anything. So you can use this as a tipper if you really wanted to. If you really want to use this as a tipper trailer, you could. The great thing is, we got that. That's good. Let's bring this back in. You can hold whatever you want on either side. There's no, <laughs> there's no rules that say you have to have seed on one side and fertilizer on the other. Yes, that's what it's made for. Don't get me wrong. But you don't have to. And that's the great part. There we go. There's the first. Back this up. And just kind of, oh gosh, we're <laughs> crashing already. Bring it over just a little bit. As long as your fill is above whichever hopper. I mean, it treats it like there's two different hoppers in there, which there are. But there's some things in game that don't treat it like there's two different ones. It just has one pickup for both sides and only one thing will fill up. So there's that. So we've got seed. I think that the canola is going to be just fine. However, I assume that we will need more seed for, oh, bring this back around, the corn. Also, I just realized that I should have stopped him going the other way. So now I've got to wait for it to come back. 
So which way is it longer? You know what? Nah, I was gonna say, we should just let it do its thing. Nah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back to the other end, run a headland. But I think running long ways would have been a better, better choice. I still think it, I can be honest with you. I still think it is. I think running this way may be the better way to go. Longer, uh, longer runs, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Will that go to the end? It will. You know what? I'm not even gonna stop this. I'm not going to fix it. I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna let this guy do his thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can already tell two passes. We had 92% left. That means 20, 20 passes? Third, 20, 21 passes, something like that. It'll be completely done. Actually, you know what? We may not need seed on here. We'll see about that. How's this guy doing? Oh gosh, getting close to being halfway done with the field. Tell you what, let's take over. Let's turn it on. Let's get this done a little bit faster. So I'm going to run this down one more time, but I've got an idea and I need you guys help because we are going to pick out a new area and we're gonna create a small little small little thing. We're gonna do sugar beets because we have the stuff to do that. Plus it'll take less time to harvest sugar beets. And I think the price on getting a harvester is about the same as it would be doing potatoes. But sugar beets are way, way more fun to harvest. No offense, potatoes. Let's get this. I'm gonna set this on a worker. About right, uh, right there. There we go. Worker hired. I want this. This tractor right here. And I need the big... Where is it? The big weight right there. We need the big weight because what we're going to do... Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot my HUD still off. I always turn the HUD off whenever we're doing... Um, whenever we're doing speedies and stuff like that. I just think it looks better that way. I need a cultivator. Where did I put the... Oh, there it is. Let's... Why not? Let's just back all the way up. Because that's what you would do. Cough, not... Oh, slow down. Oh, boy. And we're already crashing into stuff again. We're going to take this. Even though it's a little bit big for this tractor, it works. It works. It does a really good job, too. We're going to take this, and we're going to go up to the pig area. Because at the pig area, they've got something very, very interesting. There's a whole line of uh, a whole line of area where there's nothing there. It's just ground. That's it. There's nada. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, cultivate to create fields, and then we're of course we'll have to come through and and plow up because well we don't own a plow, uh, so we'll have to plow that up. Probably just do a subsoil. Actually, I should have brought a subsoiler with me. That would have been a better idea. It's all right. We'll make two trips. And then we're going to have to, of course, put the uh, put the lime down. But once we get all that done, I think we're going to have a nice little area to do some little, uh, do some sugar beets. This is the area that I'm talking about right here. That's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpier than I would prefer, honestly. But it's just this little area. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. It works. So what I'm going to do, slow this guy down. We're going to come in and I'm going to terraform because I want to smooth this out because this right here, this is just way too, way too much. So we're just going to bring up brush strength up to three and then we're just going to smooth it out. I think that was the only spot right there that we really had problems. I think so. I believe so. Just this area right here. This is all I'm talking about. There we go. We're good. Ground is smoothed out as best it can. Cool. Let's turn our help window so, so we can see what's going on. And allow create fields. Now, of course, this is something that you can only do on the PC. This is not a function of console, at least not yet. 
I doubt we will ever see it on console, but I think that it should be on console. This brings down, lower it, and it will create the field for us. And it's gonna look like it's cultivated because again, we're running a cultivator, but here we go. Make this turn here, get as close to these trees as we can because we're gonna do this entire field by hand, everything by hand. This is not gonna be a worker friendly environment right here. <laughs> not at all. Bring this around. And this is, again, the great, great thing about having this mod and being able to use whatever tool you want to create the fields. Oh, that and the fact that this uh, this tractor right here has the gear shift sounds. Oh, it's, am it's amazing. And that is for console. You don't have to go anywhere special for that. Nice and easy. About right there. That'll do it for us. Now all we've got to do is run up and down. Oh, if we can. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> here we go. All we got to do is run up and down through here. And now we've created a nice little field. Again, we don't need much. We just need some sugar beets. We don't need a whole lot. The <laughs> I still say it. The problem is going to be leasing the equipment for it. Let me know. How do you guys do sugar beets, or do you do sugar beets at all whenever you're giving stuff together for your pigs? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Oh, swing it, baby. No, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Let's see if we can stay within this realm here. Ooh, there's a little bump right there. Man, we'll have to figure that out. So anyway, let's finish this up. Well, dude, as I'll see you guys back at the farm, hopefully this will all... Well, not take too long because we got to kind of come back over here, plow and lime. You know, now that we're talking about it, I see another opportunity right here. So we've got that little field up there, which is good. But what about this area? We're not doing anything with it. It can be squared off. Let's, um, yeah, tell you what, I'm going to square this off to be used as a field. We're gonna come through, smooth it out, try and give ourselves a basic idea of where we're gonna put the field, but again, trying to smooth this out just so the big dips, big bumps, big bruises, anything like that. Oh, and we've went too far over. You know what? I don't think it'll hurt if we go too far over. I think it'll be all right. And we've literally gone too far over now, so we're not gonna worry about that anymore. Come down through here, maybe maybe going faster was the, was the answer. Maybe it wasn't, can't really tell you. Here we go. Good, good, good. And where's the tree line? Tree line's about right there. So if we can come through here, grab this, start, just kind of hold it. Just grab the button and hold it. Right now I am using the smooth feature, so that is why on the Xbox controller. If you guys are on PlayStation, that is going to be uh, the triangle and PC. I'm not really sure which button that is. It's just smooth. That's what it's called. Smooth. Bring it nice and easy. Again, this is the way that I'm going to be doing this. So let's bring this out. Let's cultivate it under and see what happens. Almost done with this field right here. One thing I am going to do because there's some sides and some areas around it that just were not right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back into landscaping here. And we're going to square off the field. So I've got grass kind of picked out right here. I'm just going to kind of go in and every click up, I'm just going to click it down. Now I have to go do literally the entire field like this. But what it's going to do is it's going to give us a very nice squared off field that not only looks good, but is symmetrically perfect. So the tops and the bottoms are the same. Ooh, you saw it kind of go off to the side a little bit right there. Be careful of that because then you have to create that field all over again. And you have to plow it up. So that there's that. One thing do note, if you mess up and you have to go back through, you're like, oh, I've already, you know, cultivated that. I've already plowed it up. I've already done, uh, you know, I've plowed, cultivated, fertilized. It holds its fertilization state even though it's not really... A field so if you accidentally do something just know all you have to do is recreate the field part again so there's that so do, do know that 
you don't have to worry too much. Okay, now we go down here. Oh, don't on that land, really? Oh. So I don't own the land there, but I own it here. How does that work? <laughs> Got me. Realizing you probably be looking at it like, oh, you've already made the field right there. You're, 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 uh, running out of, uh, field. You're running out. What? What's the deal you right here, bro? Seriously? So I could come up here, but I can't go right there. All right. So it looks like we're going to lose a little bit more of the field, I guess. That's all right. It'll be okay. It is what it is. Again, we're just planting grass. I tell you, this feature right here. I know you're watching this going, come on, do something, do some farming. I'll get to it, I promise. I just gotta get this squared off. I believe that this side was perfect uh, all the way except for down here right at the end. You know what? I ain't even gonna worry about it because that is a whole lot of work that I don't wanna do. So there you go. I'm just gonna do this headland down here at the end. Give it about eight hours, 12 hours, something like that. All this grass will be grown up. And we'll be good to go. I hope when Seasons comes out that the grass grows as fast as it does in uh, regular storyline mode. I say storyline mode, non-Seasons mode? Is that what? <laughs> it's kind of almost what it is, isn't it? You got online, but you know, you got story mode, which is what we're kind of playing now. And then you've got Seasons mode. Kind of interesting that it's two totally different things, but that is how much Seasons has changed. If you are new to Farming Simulator with Farm Sim 19, and you have not played 17 yet, you are in for an amazing, wonderful treat when Seasons comes out. But until then, we've got to plow all this up, and I think I've got an idea to make it faster. I literally just realized that you can do the allow create fields with subsoilers as well. Yeah, yeah, if your question is, do I feel a little bit dumb? Yep, yeah, I feel a little bit dumb. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get rid of these guys. I feel like we're to that point where it's like, okay, we're having to do more and more plowing. We're definitely going to have to be doing more and more plowing when it comes to the corn because we have to do that every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these subsoilers and we're going to get at least one plow. Drop that there and get this tractor out of here. Again, you always want to sell if you're selling and your money is an object. Right now we have $28,000. We don't even have enough money to buy two of the plows I want. How much money are we getting? Not too bad. $7,500. Uh, uh oh. It doesn't recognize it. Uh, everybody look away. Okay, you can look. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we have 43 grand right now. We got, uh, see, 75, so $15,000 total. What we're going to do, since this is in testing, I'm going to start using this a bit more. We're going to get the Weba. We're not only going to get one. Purchase that. We're going to get two of them. Now, again, you're probably looking at it going, Ah, oh, DJ, you messed up again, buddy. You've just spent 34 grand on stuff. And you barely have enough money to get by. I wish you weren't right, but you are, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. Get this folded up, get that folded up. We've got work to do, so I'm going to take both of these up. And the John Deere, is it the John Deere? Yeah, the John Deere that we've got at the top field. We're going to take that John Deere, we're going to stick it on the front of this. Or stick it on the front of this. Stick one of these on that John Deere. And then we're going to take the other one from the back. We're gonna have both of them. I'm going to use this tractor to, wow, that was loud. We're gonna use this tractor right here to get the stuff done that we need to do. And then I'm gonna set the worker on the John Deere on the other one. Should be easy. Speaking of easy, how's this guy coming along? Is he on his last pass, really? Almost, look at that, <laughs> look how much is left. Hopefully it does his job, man. Hey, quick work at this. I mean, this whole time that we've been, well, better terms, yapping, uh, it's been doing its job. It's been doing phenomenal. Looks like there's a few spots we may have to hit, but I think overall that's going to be good. All right, canola's in, and the whole thing looks great. Let's drop that off there, bring this around, 
hook up. Oh, maybe too too fast, right? Not too slow, too fast. Hook it up, open it up, double check to make sure create fields is off, which it is, and hire worker. Let them go, let them do their thing. Helper F just completed their task. Awesome, they were the ones planting the corn, that's phenomenal. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take the plow that's on the back and we're gonna flip it. Because if it is turned around for some reason, it doesn't require that much power. It requires 180 horsepower, don't get me wrong, it's still quite a bit. And we have 180 horsepower just fine. But, if we cannot worry about it, it goes 10 miles an hour right off the bat, and it flies. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Barely any horsepower required, and it does everything needed. Ooh, this is my favorite implement. Well, it looks like somebody just got fired. Look at that. They started plowing up the wrong freaking field. Good job, dummy. Oh my, oh my, you are an idiot. Don't, don't give me that. Look, uh-uh. No, don't, don't ignore this. You messed up, buddy. You messed up big time. Oh, you're in trouble. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm not even ending the clip yet. I was about to. No, you're going to finish this. You're going to do this the right way. Come on, down to the end. Why would it do that? It's a totally different field. That's stupid. Uh, can we please fix that? Because it just ruined one of my fields. Well, not ruined. I'm, I'm just going to go back and do the thing. Nonetheless. Okay, got this. It does appear that we need some seed. I've got the truck around here somewhere. i uh, tell you what. Instead of having to drive this up to the truck... Let's drive the truck down to it. How's this going? This looks terrible. This worker is doing a bad, a bad job. I'm just gonna fire that worker right off the bat because they don't even deserve to be working right now. Bring this down to it. Goodness, I can't even believe it, you idiots. Ah, oh, this this whole this whole thing has just been. DJ complains a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I really am. Line it up perfect boom get the seeds in but with all that being said that is going to be it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please drop a like nari please subscribe if you have any questions drop those down in the comment section below be happy to help you out and if you got any ideas let me know as well i'm interested to see what you guys have to come up with that being said hope you have a great day and we will see you later sugar beets in the ground peace